Hey, so my video for this week is about top-down and bottom-up processing, which I feel like is a very simple concept because it's one of those where it's mostly in the name. So once you see top-down and bottom-up, you know how different, how the ways that they are different. So moving on, I wanted to start with what top-down and bottom-up processing have in common and they are both cognitive processes. A cognitive process is defined as the mental operations performed in the creation and manipulation of mental representations of information. So they're both going to involve uh, se sensory information, inferences from the external world, knowledge and experiences stored in our brains, and sensory and the like perception action that we take. They're just going to be organized differently. So top-down processing takes what we already know and uses it to interpret new information. So um, if we look at the example here, there's um, 12, 13, 14, and A, B, C. Because we are aware of the um, symbols around the middle symbol, we're able to see that in certain if we read across, it's going to be A, B, C, and then we read top to 14, it's 12, 13, 14. And so we're using that outside information to make an inference about the new information. The other one is, of course, bottom-up processing, which is divine this, uh, is defined as um, taking new information, so that new sensory information around us, and interpreting that first. So we're not thinking with um, our memories first, we're thinking, we're just taking in what we see. In the example, in the uh, slide, we have um, the T and the E, we wouldn't be interpreting those first, we'd be interpreting that middle symbol. So we would see the shape of it, those um, two slanted lines in the middle line, and then we can take in that sensory information and, be able, and think, okay, that looks like an A or an H, and so that's bottom up processing. And I just have my works cited page here. I use the lecture. If you see in those examples, they're definitely pulled from the lecture. They were the best examples that I could find. I also used um, a source to define cognitive processing. And my second source is specifically about top-down processing, which was pretty helpful. They had the graphic on my second slide that I used. And the way they defined it was really helpful for me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope it was informative for you.